thank you. A young Chattanooga girl is in the hospital after being hit by a stray bullet on Sunday. News Channel 9's Mariah Rock joins us live from the hospital where the little girl is starting her long road to recovery. Mariah, do police know who did this? Now, police are asking anyone to come forward with any information they might have about what happened that early morning. Now, we talked to the principal today of the girl who was struck by a bullet, and he says despite what happened, the girl seems to be in high hopes. A little more than two weeks before school starts, and one nine-year-old is spending her days in the hospital dealing with life-changing injuries. The doctors indicated that it's probably most likely that she won't walk again. The young victim's principal, LaFrederick Thurkill, says he sat with the family after the shooting, offering any support he can. We care about the student very deeply and, and want to just make sure that if there are any things that we can provide from the school or the school system that uh, we are... Uh, just paying attention to the needs of the family at this time. Chattanooga police say at least 20 to 30 people were here on Doolittle Street in a dispute in the early morning hours of Sunday, but no one is saying who pulled out a gun. We know that numerous people are out there, people witnessed this, and uh, people know who the shooter is. And we want to find out who he is and hold him accountable for this. Thurkill says the little girl will need special accommodations to continue school and make her home more comfortable. That's where he's hoping the community will step in. There'll be some needs like, for instance, having a ramp built at the house for wheelchair access. Principal Thurkill says he will keep visiting the nine-year-old in the hospital as her school family tries to help in any way they can. And we're just hoping for the best. Police say that they do not have enough evidence to say that this was a gang-related violence. Reporting in Chattanooga, Mariah Rock, News Channel 9. Mariah, thank you. If you know any information regarding this incident, Chattanooga Police want you to call them. If you're interested in helping the young girl and her family, you can contact the principal. That information is on our website. Just find this story at newschannel9.com. The Chattanooga Fire Department held a blood drive.